the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, always, now, and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world and the stability of the holy churches of God and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and them that enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our most reverend Archbishop Gerasimus, for the venerable priesthood, the deacons in Christ, for all the clergy and all the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That this water may be hallowed by the might and operation and descent of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord that there may be sent down upon it the grace of redemption, the blessing of the Jordan. Let us pray to the Lord that there may come down upon this water the cleansing operation of the super substantial Trinity. Let us pray to the Lord that we may be illumined with the light of knowledge and piety through the descent of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. that this water may prove effectual for the averting of every plot of visible and invisible enemies. Let us pray to the Lord, that he that is about to be baptized herein may become worthy of the incorruptible kingdom let us pray to the Lord that he that now comes to holy illumination and for his salvation. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. that he may prove to be a child of light and inheritor of eternal blessings. Let us pray to the Lord that he may grow in and become a partaker of the death and resurrection of Christ our God. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. that he may preserve the garment of baptism and the earnest of the Spirit, undefiled and blameless in the awesome day of Christ our God. Let us pray to the Lord that this water may be for him a laver of regeneration unto the remission of sins and a garment of incorruption. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. that the Lord may listen to the voice of our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord that he may deliver him and us from tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Calling to remembrance our all holy, pure, exceedingly blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life to Christ our God. By the same be glorified in your most holy name, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Mega si kyrie ekte thamastate ergo su, kides logos es arkesi prosimnon to thamansion su. Doxa si kyrie, doxa si. Great are you, O Lord, and wonders are your works, and no word will suffice to him your wonders. Doxa si kyrie, doxa si. Mega si kyrie ekte thamastate ergo su, kides logos es arkesi prosimnon to thamansion su. Doxa si kyrie, doxa si. For by your will you are nothing but all things in the being, and by your power sustain creation by your providence direct the world. You have been four elements to form creation and crown the cycle of the year with the four seasons. All the spiritual powers trump before you. The sun praises you. The moon glorifies you. The stars and the courses meet with you. Light hearkens unto you. The springs of water serve you. You have bounded the sea with sand. You pour the air, pour the air for breathing. The angelic powers minister unto you. The choirs of archangels worship before you. The many-eyed cherubim and the six-winged seraphim 
as they stand and fly around you, veil themselves with fear of your unapproachable glory. For you being boundless and beginningless and unutterable, did come down upon the earth, taking the form of a servant, being made in the likeness of men. For your master, through the tenderness of your mercy, could not endure the race of man tormented by the devil, but you did come and save us. We confess your grace. We proclaim your beneficence. We do not hide your mercy. You had set at liberty the generations of our nature. You did how the virgin womb by your birth. All creation praise you. You did manifest yourself. For you seen upon the earth and did sojourn within. You hallowed the streams of Jordan, sending down from the heavens your Holy Spirit, and crushed the heads of the dragons that look therein. Do you yourself a loving king, be present also to the scent of your Holy Spirit, and hallow this water. Amen. Amen. Do you yourself a loving king, be present also to the scent of your Holy Spirit, and hallow this water. Amen. And give to it the grace of redemption, the blessing of the Jordan, make it a fountain of incorruption, a gift of sanctification, a losing of sins, a healing of sicknesses, a destruction of demons, an approach of hostile powers, filled with angelic might. And let them that take counsel together against your creation flee therefrom. For call upon your name, O Lord, which is wonderful and glorious and awesome unto adversaries. Let all adverse powers be crushed. Beneath the sun in your most precious cross. Amen. Si trevitus in ibotin simius in tu tipu tut mius tabrusu, pasen in dia dinamis. Amen. Let all adverse powers be crushed. Beneath the sun in your most precious cross. Amen. We pray to you, Lord, let every area and invisible specter withdraw itself from us, and let not a demon of darkness conceal himself in this water, <laughs> neither let an evil spirit bring an obscurity of purpose or rebellious thoughts descend into him that is about to be baptized. But do you, O Master of all, declare this water to be water of redemption, water of sanctification, a cleansing of flesh and spirit, a losing of bonds, a forgiveness of sins, an illumination of soul, a lab of regeneration, a renewal of the spirit, a gift of sonship, a garment of corruption, a fountain of life. For you, said the Lord, wash and be clean, put away evil from your souls. You have bestowed upon us regeneration from on high, but water in the spirit. Manifest yourself, O Lord, in this water, and grant that he that is about to be baptized may be transformed therein to the putting away of the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts, and to the putting on of the new, which is renewed according to the image of him that created him that being planted in the likeness of your death through baptism, he may become a sharer of your resurrection, a preserving the gift of your Holy Spirit and increasing the positive grace. He may attain to his prize of his high calling and account among the number of the firstborn whose names are written in heaven. And you are God and Lord Jesus Christ, to whom be all glory and might, together with your eternal Father, and your all holy, good, and life giving spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. peace be with all. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To you, O Let us pray to the Lord. Sovereign Lord, Master, the God of our fathers, who did send to them in the ark of Noah a dove, bearing a twig of olive in its speak as a sign of reconciliation, salvation through the blood, and through these prefigured the mystery of grace, and thereby that have filled them that were under the law with the Holy Spirit, and perfected them that are under grace. Do yourself bless the soil by the power, operation, and descent of the Holy Spirit that it might become anointed of incorruption, a shield of righteousness, a renewal of soul and body, and averting every operation of the devil, to remove all the evils from that are anointed with it in faith or partakers of it. To your glory and that of your only begotten Son, your holy, good, and life granting spirit, now and firm to the ages of ages. Amen. Roscommon. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us be attentive. Hallelujah, 
servant of God, John, is anointed with the oil of gladness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. That my mouth may proclaim your praise for the hearing of faith, for the help of soul and body. I shall take up my cross and follow you. Your hands have made and fashioned me, that I may walk in the paths of your commandments. Stand in the water. Facing, yeah, facing farther here. Spill the oil, but whatever's oil there, Oscar. And wipe a little bit of on his arms and on his legs. Slide it. This way. And just kind of slowly sit down in the water. You can get hold on to your hands in front. The servant of God, John, is baptized in the name of the Father Amen. and of the Son Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Get to you, because I have never met us. King of all, bestow upon him also the seal of your omnipotent and adorable Holy Spirit and the communion of the Holy Body and most precious blood of your Christ, keeping him in your sanctification. Confirm him in the Orthodox faith, deliver him from the evil one and all his devices, preserve his soul through your saving fear in purity and righteousness, that in every work and word being acceptable before you. He may become a child and heir of your heavenly kingdom. For you are our God, the God of mercy and salvation. And to you do we send our glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The seal of the gift. The Holy Spirit. I mean, the seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Spragis. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. I mean, Spragis. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. The seal. I mean, the seal of the gift. Of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The seal. Let us pray to the Lord. Sovereign Master, Lord of God, who honored man beyond image, providing 